In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul. And this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. That the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 through to chapter 19, verse 1. Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Up to seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to seventy times seven. Therefore the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. And when he had begun to settle accounts, one was brought to him who owed him ten thousand talents. But as he was not able to pay, his master commanded that he be sold with his wife and children and all that he had, and that payment be made. The servant therefore fell down before him, saying, Master, have patience with me, and I'll pay you all. Then the master of the servant was moved with compassion, released him, and forgave him the debt. But the servant went out and found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me what you owe. But his fellow servant fell down at his feet and begged him, saying, Have patience with me, and I'll pay you all. And he would not, but went and threw him into prison, till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw that he had done what he had done, they were all grieved and came and told their master all that had been done. Then his master, after he had called him, said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you begged me. Should you not have also had compassion on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you? And his master was angry, and delivered him to the torturers, until he should pay all that was due to him. So my heavenly Father also will do to you, if each of you, from his heart, does not forgive his brother his trespasses. Now it came to pass when Jesus had finished these sayings that he departed from Galilee and came to the region of Judea beyond the Jordan. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful servants of yours, ever forgiving. In the scripture reading today, we read about forgiveness. How we should forgive. Many of us have been hurt over the years. People hurt us. Some of us, sadly, hold these grudges and will not move on. And it's almost like a cancer that eats away at each one. Forgiveness is the answer. And so this parable from Jesus about the servants, yes, about the master whose servants owed him things, owed him money. Yes, one owed him a lot. But because the servant 
fell on his knees and begged him for forgiveness. He forgave him. But then in turn, this servant found another one who owed him a small amount of money, would not forgive him when he asked for that. The other servant, the second servant, asked for forgiveness and he'll pay you. And of course, when he threw them into prison, the fellow servants were concerned and they approached the master. And then, of course, how the story goes, the wicked servant was thrown into prison to gave him to the torturers until he paid all. And so too, we need to forgive others. The Our Father, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Jesus, God forgives us our sins. Yes, so too we need to forgive others who have done us wrong. If we don't, how do we expect God to do it? Today in the church, the second of November, we remember all those lost souls. Yes, it's called All Souls Day. Many of our family and friends who have departed, we recall them. In different parts of the world, it is celebrated differently. Yes. The faithful departed faithful, those signed by the seal of the cross on their forehead, fellow believers who have departed, who have de departed this earthly sojourn and are waiting for judgment. This is something we all have to do. And this is why it's important with this reading today about forgiveness. How we need to forgive our neighbours. For on that day of judgment, we will all have to answer. How many times did you forgive your brother? Seven times? But Jesus said to Peter, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to seventy times seven. Yes. So remember this, especially today when we remember our loved ones who have departed this earthly sojourn to forgive, to forgive those who have hurt you. Sometimes it's our family who hurt us. Yes, we must forgive. Not seven times, but seventy times seven, as Jesus told Peter. For on that day of judgment, we will beg, we'll beg God for forgiveness. We must do likewise. Forgive those who trespass against us. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, Save us. Amen.